Hi, I'm Christine Ortiz. Have you ever heard of the platypus? It's a strange animal. It lays eggs like a reptile, produces milk like a mammal, and swims like a fish. So what type of animal is it? Well, it's a toothless mammal with a dark beak, a beaver's tail, and the fur of an otter. This mix makes it an incredible animal with many talents. Even stranger, platypuses shine under ultraviolet light, and males are venomous. You can find these spectacular animals in freshwater bodies between 3 and 16 feet deep in Australia and Tasmania. They are amazing swimmers, divers and hunters. They have dense fur that keeps them dry and warm. And even if their beaks look like a duck's, a platypus's beak is soft, rubbery and highly sensitive. It has thousands of receptors that sense pressure, movement and subtle electrical fields. Picture this, our brain sends electrical signals that travel through the nerves to the muscles, causing them to contract and move. Well, platypuses are capable of detecting this subtle electrical activity. This powerful tool, called electrolocation, allows them to detect the muscular activity of their aquatic prey, predators or a possible mate, even in murky waters. Even though they have an ocular membrane to protect their eyes while diving, they hunt with their eyes closed, because their extremely sensitive beaks are more than enough for navigation. Another curious characteristic is they shine under ultraviolet light. They absorb light rays that are not visible to us, transform them and emit a bluish-green color under ultraviolet light. Scientists still don't know why these animals have this hidden talent, but they think it has several functions. It could be a way for them to communicate with each other in low-light conditions or to attract mates during mating season. Some researchers suggest it is also possible that some predators cannot detect fluorescence or that it deters predators by making them appear less attractive. Another thing that makes them less attractive is their venom. Males have spurs on the back of their ankles connected to a venom gland. The venom is not fatal to humans, but it is very painful and causes swelling, and it can kill smaller animals and female platypuses are in charge of digging burrows for themselves and their mates, and another one for their young. So yes, they spend most of their time underwater, but they can also go on land. Platypuses have wet feet. They use their front feet for propelling themselves, and their hind feet and tail to steer like a ship's rudder. But when they go on land, they retract their webbing, so their strong claws are more evident. Females use their claws for digging. Females lay one to four eggs that they incubate between their tail and belly, and when they hatch, the females produce milk to feed them. But they don't have nipples. The milk oozes out of their skin like sweat, and the young lick it from their mom's skin. Adult platypuses feed on insects, small crustaceans, worms, fish eggs, and small fish. But when they ingest their food, it goes directly from the esophagus to their small intestine because they have no stomach. The duck-billed egg-laying platypus is certainly one of the oddities of the animal kingdom.